New threats are emerging in the Indian Ocean region as the Chinese Navy is attempting to assert its dominance far from its coast and close to Indian waters, the Navy is taking steps to checkmate the dragon. To shore up the defences of our home waters, the Navy has gone into overdrive. The Navy is working on a missile-based twin-pronged strategy to deny operating room to enemy surface vessels at key choke points on India's western and eastern approaches. While at the same time, closing access to ocean-going tankers to the enemy, thereby starving his armed forces and industry alike of fuel and in the process, grinding him to a halt. The Navy has signed a 1700 crore rupees deal to acquire the next generation of the BrahMos missiles for its shore-based batteries. These batteries will be located at strategic locations and can hit enemy ships hundreds of kilometers out at sea. And as you remember, the last time a BrahMos was accidentally fired, the Pakistanis who are currently very big on Chinese air defense systems could only write an after-action report after the missile crashed deep inside their territory as they could not even effectively locate, forget tracking the supersonic monster. And as the second prong of the strategy, the Navy has signed a cool nearly 10,000 crore rupees deal with our very own Cochin shipyard for the next generation missile vessels. These boats will provide a seagoing punch to the Navy. The boats are designed with offensive and not defensive in mind and will be a bane for enemy surface combatants and land targets alike. The vessels are designed to be heavily armed, stealthy and fast. India has a very successful history of using these boats in anger and boy are these boats fire starters. In 1971, in perhaps one of the most daring naval actions after the Second World War, the Indian Navy's missile boats attacked Karachi, the home of the Pakistani Navy, twice and caused immense damage to Karachi's port facilities and sinking or damaging much more potent combat vessels such as destroyers, frigates and a minesweeper. The attacks also had far-reaching effects as a ship carrying ammunition was sent to the bottom of the sea. While the fuel facilities in Karachi were set ablaze thereby hampering Pakistan's war machinery with measurable effect. The Navy says that the next-gen BrahMos can tackle any threat. But to any enemy ship venturing close to India, the BrahMos is the threat. For more informative videos like this, keep watching India Today Newsmo.